What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna go for a little walk in the woods and talk about mental clarity. And I just really hope that by the end of this video, no one will have stolen my bike and my equipment that I left here in the woods, but it's just too nice of a walk to pass up. And I've kind of wanted to talk about this topic for quite a long time now, because it's something that I've just been trying to think about and trying to essentially achieve lately, is how can you get to that state of mental clarity? Because I think getting to that state is kind of like key in terms of if you want to maximize your productivity or your ability to focus. If you don't have like that clear mind, it's going to be really difficult to do that. But it's also really difficult to get to that state of having that clear mind. And I just wanted to share a couple of things that I've been thinking about that are just tools that I'm trying to use to help me get there. And probably a big one and probably like the most cliche one is like meditation but like actually practicing meditation and developing like a good routine or schedule to practice uh, meditation is something that I'd really like to kind of get back to because I've kind of fallen off the meditation bandwagon and I'm not practicing as consistently as I used to. I am still doing like a lot of like short meditations, but I think like doing those like longer type meditations that I used to do, like upwards of like 30 minutes at a time are really beneficial for just having prolonged states of mental clarity. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was just like walking. I used to walk like way more than I do now. And it was probably just because it was like the winter, um, but walking is just so beneficial for uh, achieving mental clarity. At least it is for me. And also just like walking without distraction. I find that I used to walk a lot like listening to music or listening to like podcasts, but just like walking with like nothing at all is just, I find really good for like, kind of like organizing your thoughts and just like getting to that state of like prioritizing what's important and like clearing your mind also if you're like stressed or whatever so yeah walking is a huge thing and also cardio exercise which i've been doing quite a bit more of recently as i'm training for my iron man so if you haven't seen that video yet definitely check out my iron man video i'll link it up there um, but yeah i'm definitely doing a lot more cardio exercise recently and i've always found that cardio exercise in particular has just been really good for like uh, my ability to focus and just like mental clarity in general. So that's definitely a big one as well. And I'm gonna head back now because I really don't want anyone to steal my bike and I don't wanna stray too far from it. Uh, but this path is pretty dead. There's like, I've been here for quite some time and there's, I've seen nobody, so <laughs> yeah. But when it comes to mental clarity, I just think it's like a huge part of like a self-improvement journey in general, at least mine, because I'm trying to get to that point of like maximizing my focus and productivity. And I think it's really hard to do that without a clear mind. And a huge component of that as well is also like inner peace and like kind of like accomplishing inner peace, which is definitely not an easy thing to do. And I was actually doing some research on Buddhism the other day. And that's basically what they like define enlightenment as is like reaching a point of inner peace and wisdom. And so, <laughs> I'm not saying that to have mental clarity, you have to like be enlightened and everything, but I think definitely being at peace with yourself is gonna really help you achieve that state. Because anytime we're having like feelings of like anxiety or depression or fearfulness or anger, it's really difficult to have like a clear mental state while you're experiencing those emotions. And just having that like inner peace that you can return to is really good at like dealing with those emotions as well. So yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video on mental clarity and just kind of like share my thoughts and things that I've been thinking about lately and things I'm just like trying to get back to because I think when it comes to like a self-improvement journey, you're not always gonna have this like linear path where you're just like continually getting better. There's gonna be points where like you kind of like dip down and points where you're like, you're not as disciplined as you were before uh, with certain things, whether it be like meditation or like walking or exercise. And that's okay. It's just like, you, you just want to try to like, make sure that the trend line of your journey is like in the positive direction, right? So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I, I feel a lot better now that I'm back here. <laughs> my bike and my equipment is safe. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and the strategies that you use to achieve mental clarity down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace. And this is the new bike, by the way, for anyone that's interested. I've always wanted a single speed, all black bike, and I finally got one. And it's actually a belt drive bike, so instead of a chain, it uses a carbon fiber belt. And yeah, it's just always kind of what I wanted. I'm super happy to finally have it, and I've been really enjoying going on some nice, nice rides with it. So 
yeah, if there's anyone that's into bikes in the comments below and you have any questions, let me know. But I will probably be talking a little bit more about this bike in my future plan for Ironman video. So be sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for that video. Thank you.